In the last video, you saw how to add a channel tab to an existing Microsoft Teams project. And in this video, we're gonna see how to implement that channel tab, as well as how to include a configuration page in the tab. Now, the last step is to implement our channel tab. So let's go back to VS Code and let's find our tab that we have. So what I'm gonna do is let's add in a couple other controls. So like I need an input and input props. Those are two more uh, import statements that we're going to need. And I'm also going to create a new interface. So my interface I'm going to have is export interface. We'll call this the iconfig math tab state. And this is going to have a math operator, which is just going to be a string. It's going to have an operand uh, A, which is a number, operand b which is also a number and the result which is a string so i have an existing use state let's go through and let's make another state uh, thing here another state entry or state property so i'm going to add the following statement this is going to define a variable to contain um, the state uh, for our our current tab so i'm going to say con uh, const math tab state and then set math tab state to follow that same convention. This is going to be use uh, use use the hook use state that is an i config math state, and it's going to pass in the math operator is going to be something as the i config math state. So the default state we're going to have is add. So we're gonna, by default we're going to choose we're going if the state hasn't been selected or if that we don't know what it is, uh, the operator is just going to be add. Now let's implement the channel logic. So let's look for the effect, uh, our current effect that depends on the Microsoft Teams context, and that is this one right here. So we can see that because it's passing in uh, the context. Now what we want to do is we want to update this to do some new stuff. So we want to lay, leave this set empty ID to be equal to the entity ID that's passed in, but I also want to do the set math tab state. I also want to pass it in and say, look at the current state, and I want to use, we're going to pass in the current state, and we're going to have our math operator context that entity, the entity ID dot replace the math wherever you see math page, and we're going to replace it with nothing. So I want to strip off the math page property that we see there. Uh, and this is going to be as I config mass state. And that's two closing right there. And then we have that. Okay, cool. So now everything's in good shape. Now I want to also go ahead and add in a couple event handlers uh, to our class. Now these event handlers, let's go ahead and add these in. I'll explain what they do. So, so these three different event handlers, they do a couple different things. So the uh, change handler A and change operand or ch uh, change operand A and change operand B, both of these are going to run when our uh, when the user enters in some text uh, for our input boxes that we're going to add in just a minute. So and what they're doing is they're going to update the state uh, of the um, of our app. Um, the next thing that uh, we have here is when the operand changes. So when someone changes from, you know, addition to subtraction or something like that, we want to we want to change that up. Um, when the operand changes, we're going to redo all of our results here. So we can see here that we got a couple different string results that we're generating, and we're passing in those string results into um, our state for um, the actual app. Now the next thing to do is to implement the channel page uh, user interface. So let's find our return statement, which is down here at the bottom. And I'm going to replace our return statement. Let's just go and grab all of this. And let's add in what we see here. So what is this doing? So what this did is you can see that it's listing out. We have two input boxes, one for our input uh, for the operand A, and then one for um, operand B. And it's going to allow us to then go through and to click this calculate button. And it's basically going to come in and say, well, let's go through and recalculate um, the results. And based on the operand that was selected in our settings, that's how the value, um, that's how the value is going to get updated. It's going to get or get calculated. So at this, at this uh, time, 
So at this point, the channel tab page is complete. So if the web server is not running, which we can see something fail while we were uh, coding it up, that's fine. We will just restart it with gulp ingrok serve. So let's go back to our browser and let's go off of our tab and now we'll come back into our tab and let's take a look at it. So here's our config math tab. So we can see we're doing the add operation. So let's go ahead and add two values together. So I'll do a five and an eight and click calculate. 13, fantastic. So now let's go in, let's change the, the value that's gonna get run. So instead, let's do a multiply. So I'll hit save and now we'll do a five times eight equals 40. So we can now see how our app is responding or our, our custom uh, configuration tab uh, is setting the values our configuration uh, page is allowing us to change the operation we want to run. And our configurable tab is allowing the user to enter different values in. And then it's using the setting for our configuration page uh, to figure out what math operation it should perform. So in this demo, we created a channel tab with a configuration page, added it to an existing project for a Microsoft Teams app.